Hi everybody, Stacy here. Doing one more for tonight. Maybe two. Probably just one. Um ooh, that was gross. Piece of resin on there. Glad I got that off. Um yeah, this is gonna be a um there's a cat fight going on out there. Ugh. Shut the door. That's what I do, whatever's going on out there. Just shut the door. Okay, this is gonna be a blue and green flip cup. It's got Artist Soft Metallic Green, Artist Soft White, Master Touch Thalo Blue, Liquid Text, um, Prussian Blue, Master Touch Viridian, and Liquid Text Bright uh, Yellow Lime Green Mix, whatever the name of that one is. Um, I think that's everything. I'm doing this to replace a couple. Um, I had two uh, ocean colored ones that got destroyed outside, which just makes you sick because they were already resined and everything. They had embellishments on them. I was totally finished because I embellish a lot. And um, they got something set on them and um, ruined them. So I'm having to redo that. And then I had um, another one that I used in the last video was just a blue and white and uh, it cr had a big crack in it for some reason. I think I just didn't get enough paint off of it. But, um, so I've had a couple of accidents and uh, need to correct that. And um, I just wanted to do one too with these colors. So let's see here. These are all mixed. Um, one part paint, one part PVA four parts slow draw and then I add silicone. I did not dilute these any. Um, that's pretty. Um, I've been doing less and less diluting. I dilute mine on an open cup pour or a swipe, but um, I don't dilute much other than that. I was diluting my Dutch pours um, you know, I still do those sometimes, but I've been experimenting with a thicker mix and I kind of like it better. So even on those, I don't, I don't dilute a whole lot. Look at those pretty cells right down in here. And that swirl, it's pretty. All right, that's really pretty. New torch. So happy with my new torch. Look how good it works. Oh boy. We just thought we had cells. Look at that. And it won't set off my smoke alarm unless I'm using resin. Anytime I torch resin, it sets the smoke alarm off. But my big torch sets it off no matter what I'm torching. And my little torch, my other little torch won't stay lit. So I had to get a new one. I think we'll do this corner down here first. Seems like the most logical way to go. That's going to be really pretty. It's got lots of cells. Um... I think the glue helps. I think silicone helps. Um, and I'm not staying away from anything that I think helps. I do think maybe the Dutch pours do better without it if you're using the Shelly Art um, pouring medium. Um, I have used, you know, um, PVA and silicone in those. Um, but lately I've been trying them without. And I don't know, I, I can't tell a huge difference one way or another, but um, um, I don't know, I, my jury's out on that at this point. Um, this thing's just got cells all over it. It's just everywhere. Beautiful.
it's just chock full of them. That's what I like to see. That makes pouring off hard because you don't want to, you know, there's so much you want to keep. Okay. Now, I did want to get rid of this big spot down here in the bottom. Because there's cells everywhere else and there's not much going on in it. So I'll use that as my pour off place. Because I need to pour a little bit of paint off. But that's really gorgeous. I love it. Ooh, yeah. I really like that. I'm going to pour a little off this corner. I used to not put white in my ocean pours very much. I didn't. I thought it was kind of overused. I see people who put white in everything, and um, I don't think you should put it in everything. I think it takes away from how pretty it can be if you put it in everything. Then it, it doesn't stand out when you use it, and um, it can be really pretty, like down there, and like in this one. It's beautiful in this one. I'm just going to pour a little bit more paint off. I keep feeling like uh, there's a mosquito in here, and I keep feeling like he's biting me on my feet. And I look down, and he's not there. It's just my imagination. Creepy. Yeah, I'm really liking this piece. I think this is beautiful. I think my fingers have made a spot down here I want to fix. And sometimes when I'm holding on, I get my fingers too close and uh, they make a little a ring kind of thing. Okay, that's good. I got rid of it. I just want to stretch that white out a little bit more the way it was. And put those other cells back in their in their place. I sure hope this one doesn't craze. Uh, I had one craze the other day, and I mean it didn't craze; it just had one crack. But it was bad. It was a bad crack, and um, I had to redo it. But I hope I poured enough off of that one. I think the main reason that it happens is because you don't pour enough paint off. If you if you leave too thick paint on there, it's just bound to happen. All right, let's torch it up again. Probably my last pour of the night because I have some stuff I got resin out there that'll take me a good 20 or 30 minutes. And usually after I'm done fooling with that stuff, I don't feel like doing much else. There's always some cleanup involved and stickiness, and most times I need a shower. I'm not taking a shower tonight. I don't feel like it. And I took one about three hours ago, so. I love that bright yellow green. I like, I usually use uh, lime green in my ocean, I'll blue and green pores. So I'm running real low, if not out of it. And this is really pretty anyway. This new torch has a more pointy end on it. And I didn't know if I liked it at first, but I think I do. It's very exacting. It's right where you're going, you know. 
I gotta get that corner a little better over there. Well, I'm loving this one. I don't know about y'all, but I think that's pretty. Get that corner. y'all down so y'all can see up close. Okay. I walked out of here earlier and I had paint all over my face. It was from blowing out that bloom earlier. It scattered everywhere. And then I had a horrible accident a minute ago. It could have been horrible. I had gotten my flow chart out and I opened a new bottle. And whenever I open a new thing, I transfer my pantyhose part, you know, that I keep over my flow trawl to strain it with a rubber band. You know, you put the pantyhose over the spout and that way it strains it, strains it automatically. And I had switched it, but apparently I didn't get it on real good. So when I started pouring and I was squishing the bottle, that stuff just, the lid, the pantyhose came off and oh my gosh, that stuff just went everywhere. And I caught it pretty quick, but Oh, what a mess. Oh, this is beautiful. I really like this one. Makes me want to do another pour before I go to sleep. Isn't that funny how that happens when you have one go really good? You want to do another one right away. I just like the colors in this one. I'm a, I'm an ocean girl. I like the ocean pours, blue greens. You know, this one's just really stunning, I think. And I don't use that word very often. But especially up close, you just can't beat these kind of colors and cells. It's really pretty. All right. Well, if that's it for tonight, I'll, I'll end on a happy note. And it probably is because I'm getting kind of tired. Um, I hope y'all have a good night and join me again tomorrow. I'll wake up and do some more painting because that's what I do every day. I enjoy it very much and I'm very happy to share it with y'all. Thanks for being here. Take care of each other and have a wonderful night.